Dr. the Honorable Douglas Arane O.D., Mrs. Donit Chinloy Chang, Ambassador Richard Bernal, Professor Vereen Shepard, Mrs. Thalia Lin, Mr. Alfred Francis, distinguished guests, fellow scholarship recipients, students, members of the university community, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the CB Group UE 5K and Smart Eggs Kids K Press Launch 2018. My name is Nastasia McFarlane, and it is my pleasure to be your master of ceremonies for this morning's proceedings. We are delighted to have you in the celebration of the seventh annual CB Group UE 5K and Smart Eggs Kids K. The event caters to the disabled and able-bodied participants who would like to exercise their athletic prowess. As the annual major fundraising event for the University of the West Indies Scholarship Fund, this event is committed to aiding students in their pursuit of a tertiary education. In this, its seventh year, the CB Group annually hosts this event to publicly recognize the contributions of these young academics and student athletes who are making meaningful impacts on their school and to their society. Today, I feel very privileged and honored to stand here to recognize the achievements of all the scholarship recipients, including myself. The joyous occasion acknowledges our hard work and dedication and ensures that it does not go unnoticed. Today's proceedings will be graced with a plethora of game changers in their own right. As such, help me welcome outstanding philanthropist, retired business leader, author, and co-patron of this event, Dr. the Honorable Douglas Orain. Good morning, everyone. Now you know why I like to associate with the younger generation. She's so articulate. I wish I was speaking that way when I was in my early 20s. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, Nastasia's mother, have I pronounced your first name? Nastasia. Nastasia's mother is in the audience. I'm going to ask her to come up. Could you come and join me up here, please? Um, because one of the things we need to do is to recognize parents who have made this tremendous investment in their children, you. Um, or you could be sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Do people say that to you? Yes, every all the time. Yes, I know. Well, all the time. thank you very much for all the investment you thank made you. in thank Nastasia. You. So I'm, I'm going to ask you just to stay up here with me because okay. my remarks are very brief. Um, people ask me, they said, Doug, how come you're so positive? You don't see that the world is falling apart. I said, no, I have noticed. And they said, <laughs> And I said, well, how come? I said, because I make an effort to make sure that I associate with young people as much as I possibly can. Because young people don't care what happened 50 years ago. They don't care what happened 20 years ago. All they want to do is to make their lives a success. And I view my generation's role as doing exactly that, to help you all to make your lives a success. That's our role. And so therefore, I don't get um, distracted by what other people are watching on TV. Um, what I do, I actually read the Gleaner. That's where I get my news from. So I don't get distracted by um, all the little tweets I get on my phone. And I'd encourage you to do the same thing too. So about the CBUE 5K, uh, I am thrilled that I am a co-patron. Um, and Donet Chin Lai Chang is also the co-patron. Um, it's great to have the international uh, input of Donet and bless his soul, um, her husband, Ray, who was the one who actually worked with us all to initiate this program. And uh, I want us to remember him because he's one of these folks who I, actually I learned that from him, how to mix with young people. The only thing about Ray, he was so introverted. He never told anybody. Um, and that's one of the other things I've learned. You know, if you're going to do good, just go ahead and do it. And don't bother to tell anybody. And um, you will see the benefits of your, the fruits of your labor. Just as she has seen that with her daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great function. And most important, turn out on what date, Frano? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, on what date? November 11th, bright and early. He'll give you the details. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome Pro Vice Chancellor of the Global Affairs, Ambassador Richard Bernal, to make his remarks. I especially like to welcome the co-patrons of this event, 
Dr. The Honorable Douglas Serene and Mrs. Donna Chinloy Chang. I have to disagree with my good friend Douglas. Um, sometimes when you do good, even if you are too modest to say it, somebody has to say it on your behalf. So that's one of the functions here for me to do, which is to thank you and your co-patron for all that you have done. Most people don't know that this is the most important and raises the most money for scholarships at the University of the West Indies. I think that deserves a round of applause. <clears throat> this event, the CB Group UW5K, has been going for seven years, and it's going from strength to strength. This year will be no exception. We have among us many of the successful beneficiaries of this program, and it continues to expand. And we here at the University of the West Indies want to acknowledge the importance of the program and to thank all of you, not just the co-patrons, but all of you who have helped to make this event the ongoing success that it is. And I agree with Douglas, one of the great benefits of being at the university is to be with young people because their outlook is always positive. They don't bring the baggage of the past with them and they're enthusiastic and forward looking. And the University of the West Indies is the right place for those kind of people. This country has enormous talent and we get the best of it here at the University of the West Indies. And this is where the leaders of the future, this is where those who excel begin their ascent in their professional career. The University of the West Indies has trained all the leaders of the private and public sector, with few exceptions in the Caribbean. We have trained the doctors, the nurses, the engineers. We are often wrongly accused of teaching too much theory and not practical. Well, next time you see a doctor trained at UWI, you will see the benefits of our practical education. <laughs> People often ask me, what has been the contribution of the university? Just think if all the UWI graduates decided not to work on a single day. The entire Caribbean would shut down like the silence that followed Gilbert. That's not going to happen because we're doing more and better. We realize we have to produce a globally ready student, a student who is entering a global labor market, whether they stay here or they go abroad. And that's why the university is transforming itself from a regional institution with international connections to a global institution. Time doesn't permit me to elaborate, but we are expanding our cooperation in Africa, the United States, Europe, and China. For example, in Shuzhou, China, we're doing a degree in software engineering. So we're looking to the future and this program has been essential in allowing young people to build their future at one of the great universities of the world, the University of the West Indies. I say that uh, immodestly. Thank you. We will now hear from a woman who is no stranger to academia. She has provided a student with scholarship assistance in lieu of their payments. Let us welcome Ms. Kadeen Kitty Hilton. Hello, good morning everyone. How are you? Looking so bright and bubbly. I'm happy that the ambassador and uh, Mr. Orion spoke about youth, so I'm the embodiment of that. And we're forever young, and we're not losing it. 16 forever and ever. Uh, to the young, beautiful, bright young ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to you all. To the co-patron, to the ambassador, uh, Thalia Lynn, to the CB group, uh, Frano, uh, of course, Professor Vereen, uh, Jason and of course to Elizabeth thank you all for having me I wasn't prepared to speak but thank God being taught and being educated at the University of the West Indies you're always armed and
and ready. And so we say beauty and brains. Uh, <laughs> this particular university is very near and dear to me uh, because I believe in self-actualization. And there are many young persons who have the talent, they have the ability, but they just need that help. And life what would life be if we're just here to scrape for ourselves, look out for ourselves, and not look out for those who are in need? And so when Elizabeth came to me and proposed uh, and told me about it, it was a no-brainer, and I jumped on. I just said, Elizabeth, though, I can't do the walking and the running. I'll just do the hosting. <laughs> and so I'm like, I can't do everything, right? So I said, all right, fine, I will come. And I'm very happy to say uh, that the three young persons, uh, they were a part of my law program at the Faculty of Law. Uh, they're all graduating with first-class honors. And I remember the day we were all studying and I, I picked up that something wasn't right because they weren't saying that they're gonna go on Orville Lee and they're not signing up. So I'm like, guys, you know, what's happening? And they're saying, boy, you know, um, they can't afford it and they don't have it and they'll have to drop out of the program. Now anybody who knows about Miss Kitty knows about my resilience and tenacity and that was not gonna happen on my watch. And so I got up and I did what I needed to do and contributed to their development and their self-actualization. I want persons here to understand that you are the beacon of hope for your families, for your communities, and for Jamaica at large. And for the persons who have sacrificed, have contributed to all the sponsors, what you're doing really is giving life uh, to so many persons who otherwise, without your contribution, would be sitting at home. And as we know, the devil finds work for idle hands. And so I want to charge everyone in their own small way. We may not be able to build the house, but we can contribute a window, we can contribute a door, we can put a knob, we can do a one tile because at the end of the day, to whom much is given, to whom much is given, much is expected. And to the recipients who are getting this wonderful opportunity, please take it with both your hands and know that when you would have ascended, it is your duty to also help those who shall come after you. So set the tone, set the pace. On Sunday, November 11, we're all going to be out. We're all going to be there because this is a worthy cause. To the CB Group, thank you guys uh, so very much for this partnership uh, because without good corporate citizens, Jamaica and Jamaicans would not be able to actualize our innovation, our entrepreneurial spirit, our resilience and our tenacity that is within us. And so we go for it this year and we we do hope uh, that the program will continue to grow from strength to strength. Uh, more persons will benefit from it. Nastasia is a living, breathing example of that. And I have no doubt that she will be the young lady to whom we will look and say, yes, I remember her from the CBUA launch. So it's my honor to be a part of this very wonderful uh, you know, occasion and this very wonderful uh, scholarship. Uh, when I think about it, Frano, I, I feel very humbled and grateful uh, to be in a position like this to help others. Because when I'm walking across to collect my certificate on November 2, I would know that other persons would have benefited from this scholarship and their families too can smile, their communities too can smile. And know that because they have done it, it can be done, nothing is impossible. The heights of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward through the night. The University of the West Indies is indeed an illustrious institution, one which we ought to be proud to be associated with, and one that when we achieve, we ought to give back so others can achieve. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Hilton, for your kind words. Now we will move into the presentation of the scholarship recipients. I will now invite chairperson of the CB Group U 5K and Smart Eggs Kids Care Committee, Mrs. Elizabeth Buchanan Hind. When I called Miss Kitty um, a few years ago, and I said, Miss Kitty, I need you to do this and I have no money. <laughs> but what you can do is in lieu of being paid, have scholarships in your name. Well, she was saying yes from I said, this is what the event is being held for. And Miss Kitty, oops, sorry, has just been awesome. She cares about the students. She follows up with the students. 
She epitomizes what I would like to see every student at UWE do in some small way. It doesn't have to be great things. There are a lot of students out there doing their part in making UWE great and our country great. And I want to thank you, CB Group UWE 5K recipients, for all the hard work that you have done. And I look forward to the contribution you'll be making when you graduate. Um, Miss Kitty, by the way, is going to be the valedictorian of the graduating class this year. <laughs> She's brilliant. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to present the CB Group UE 5K scholarship recipients for 2018-2019. I'm gonna call your name, you'll come up, and then we will recognize you and you'll receive your certificates after. John Ross Campbell, majoring in human resource management, um, cricketer, top order batsman, plays for Melbourne Cricket Club, represented the national under 15, under 19 team, um, outstanding cricketer who may not be here today because I think he may have had to travel to Trinidad. <laughs> O'Shane Levy, management studies, track and field athlete, runs a 400 meter hurdle. So as I call your name, you can come up. Monif Heslop, sports, major sports coaching, track and field and long jump, personal best of 5.85, has won several medals in champs in long jump participated in pen relays. Chanel Walker, major tourism management, played volleyball, selected to go to China where she spent nine weeks in the summer developing skills in sports programs. Dimitri Clark, majoring in economics, basketball player. Um, he has represented under 14, under 16, under, under 19, two times camp captain of the under 19 team and represented Jamaica at the national level. Romario Bartley, majoring in accounting, plays, a, plays rugby for UE and the Ligony Dragon Club. He has been awarded multiple medals and has represented Jamaica in Canada. O'Shane Wright, economics major, cricket, cricketer. He has won three intercollegiate titles, helped Uimona campus to win the overall championship. Also won the Cricket Association Senior Cup title. Delano Jarrett, journalism major, also a rugby player, played under 19 for the Hurricanes, who won the gold medal, plays on the national under 19 team and very accomplished captain of his team. Tamoya Walter, management studies major, high jumper and triple jump. These are all our sports scholarships. We have CB sports scholarship and CB academic scholarships. Received numerous awards in high and triple jumps. Triple jump. Roshana Gibbs, Major physiology, medical, basic medical sciences, accomplished netball and volleyball player, received the most outstanding netball player and volleyball player for 2016-2017. Tamoy Nemard, accounting, most outstanding student of 2017 at Alpha Academy, most outstanding CSEC performance at Alpha Academy, won the Norman Singh Award for Excellency in Business and will be speaking on behalf of the scholarship recipients later. Shade McDonald, General Studies, GPA 3.26, Bachelor of Science in Fresh Water and Terrestri Terrestrial Ecology. Well, wow. Also an alpha girl. Hmm. Um, also won awards for outstanding CSEC performance. Akilia Parnell, third year nursing student with a passion for volunteerism, received several awards. She is the vice president of the Optimist Club. She's a social innovator. 
Marvin McLeod, Actuarial Science 3.6, second year student. Simon Lee, awarded Sportsman of the Year at St. George's College, Captain St. George's Cricket Team, represented Jamaica at cricket youth level, actuarial science. St. Patrick Grandison, hopes to pioneer a Jamaican math-based education program through the island's rich language patois. <laughs> Paul Palmer, sports coaching cricketer, left-handed batsman, was the captain of his high school, St. Elizabeth Technical High School team. Giselle Campbell, third year law student from Montego Bay High, president of the U.S. Stat Vice Chancellor's Ambassador Corps Mona Campus, an external chairperson of the Rex Nettleford Hall, U.S. Certificate of Outstanding Performance in both Leadership and Service, and the Rex Nettleford Hall Certificate for Outstanding Performance in Community Service. Jamali Vassal, Computer Science and Electronics, final year, doing a double major and doing extremely well. Brittany McKenzie, Biotechnology Netball, represents UN Netball team, won the Jamaica Netball Association major against UTEC. Oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tremaine Brown, Social Sciences and Management Studies, plays football, represented the parish of St. Catherine when she was 13 in the under 15 parish team, played one year for Portmore Strikers, Captain Fraser Whip is in her first year of playing for Barbican. Karee Finnegan, Detective Sergeant of the Police in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and her goal is to become an attorney. Alex Lawson, renowned musician and physiotherapist. He's majoring in physiotherapy. Alex plays the piano and viola and has won numerous awards, including the Grand Champion of the World Instruments in the World Championships of the Performing Arts. Participated in the music festival in the Lausanne Center, won several gold medals in the JCDC. Alicia is majoring in accounting, um, has participated in several clubs and activities, and has a 3.6 GPA. Sabrina Johnson. We want to recognize Sabrina. Sabrina is majoring in um, business and has a 3.7 GPA and is doing exceptionally well. And last but not least, Nastasia McFarling, our wonderful Master of Ceremonies, who majors in communication and marketing, and I need not say any more. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, our class of 2018, 2019, <laughs> And we want to wish you all well. Thank you. Don't feel pressured. Um, I just want to tell you that almost all of our graduates have done exceptionally well. Okay? We're looking forward to the event on number, November 11th, and we have a lot of hard work ahead of us to promote the event. Okay? CB Group UA5K is a tremendous success. Right, Mr. Francis? Okay, thank you. To respond on behalf of the scholarship recipients, we'd like to welcome Ms. Tamoy Nemhard. If you're walking down the right path and you're willing to keep walking, eventually you will make progress. Barack Obama. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tamoy Nemhard and I'm currently 20 years of age and a resident from the Olympic Gardens community. 
I am also a proud second year student of the University of the West Indies, where I am pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting at the Faculty of Social Sciences. I am from a single parent household, where I was taught with where I was taught that with hard work and dedication, there are no limits to what one can achieve. My goal is to become a chartered accountant, and I will work tirelessly to achieve this. Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measures. In order for one to become successful, they first have to believe in themselves. And by believing, we can then develop ways to achieve our desired goals. Receiving this scholarship is a great joy for us recipients. We came from different backgrounds and have different stories about what we have been through, and we still made it this far. Coming from a home where no member of my family went to university, I knew I had to make a difference. And initially, that home had 18 persons. Knowing my living conditions, I knew I had to invest all my time in my academic life in order to be able to afford something better. I wanted to be able to give myself and my mother a comfortable life. Living with so many people is not easy. At times, it would be difficult to even study. I would wait until they're asleep so that I could revise for my exams. My first year of university was a difficult one, as I did not have sufficient funds for transportation to be able to attend classes or to buy lunch. But that never deterred me, but instead impelled me to continue giving my all. We should not let our current situation define us, but instead use it to motivate us to aim for the sky and beyond. I have a dream to form my own, to form my own foundation, which will provide financial assistance to students from all areas of Jamaica. I want to give back to my nation. I want to help Jamaica to become a better place. Every individual has the potential to be great. However, there might be indurances, but these indurances does not make it impossible, but worthwhile instead. The CBUA 5K scholarship has allowed us to no longer feel pressured as to how our university fees will be paid, or even transportation fees to come to the university, because they have provided an avenue to channel our success. Michelle Obama stated, and I quote, success isn't about how much money you make. It's about the difference you make in people's life. The CB group has made a tremendous difference in many young people's life. And we'd like to say a huge thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you will continue to do. My fellow recipients, if it's not too much, can we all stand and give the CB group a round of applause for their selfless contribution to our nation? We cannot begin to say thank you to the CB group, our partners and donors who continuously make education accessible. On the topic of appreciation, let's take a few minutes to appreciate the support systems of each individual recipient present here today. Without them, we would not be who and where we are today. As such, I'd like to kindly acknowledge my support system, my mother. <laughs> Thank you for being a beacon of light, a tower of strength, and a source of love. I love you. At this time, we will welcome the Chief Operating Officer of the CB Group, Mr. Matthew Lynn, who will bring remarks on behalf of the title sponsors. Um, I, think, I think truthfully, you know, it, I, I, say, I say this every year, I can't believe we're here again already. Uh, I think in, in, in one sense it says, wow, the, the year is almost over. Um, and it says Christmas is here. And I think also it, it, it just gives us a time to reflect, it says, where has the year gone? Um, and I think for us at, at CB, what, what really we see when it comes around this time and we say give me 5K is coming up, is that we get to reflect on not just what we're doing. You know, our every day we, we go out there and we produce food and we, we try to feed a lot of people and make people happy. But, but this is why we do it. You know, it's, 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 it's functions like today, it's, it's reasons like today that, that make us so proud to be Jamaican, um, to be a good, if you want to say, a citizen of Jamaica. Um, and to give back to something that is so, so, so worthy. Um, 
the students, you know, Tomoe, thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, it's it's why we do this, you know. It's 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 touching. So, I think it's 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 a part of us that um, not only do we like to to participate and to give back, but you know, I think we have a, a soft spot for education um, because, you know, if you if you take it out for the you know to, in the future, it's really the only way that Jamaica is going to turn around. You know, that's our that's our honest honest belief that we can have many different fixes, but there's only one real fix for a long-term sustainable approach. Um, and that's everybody here who's sitting in a red shirt. You know, it's you guys. So we're proud, we're happy. Um, when Liz shares some of the stories of not just your academic or athletic achievements, but your family um, situations, your background, and how hard you've worked to get to this point, I can only tip my hat to you and say congrats well done and continue to work very, very hard. I would say to everybody, please give them a round of applause. And I think just, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna spend much time, but um, you know, I, last year I, I spoke and I was trying to, you know, send a little message where I said, you know, think about the opportunities that are ahead of you. Jamaica is a different place today than it was, whether it be 10, 20 or 50 years ago. And with technology and globalization, Jamaica will be a different place by the time you graduate. So think about the opportunities that are, that are there. You know, so often we hear people just want to be doctors and lawyers and, um, you know, very specific positions or, or there's a lot more to the work world than just being a doctor or a lawyer. And you guys can be a big part of that. But my message this year, I'm, I'm going to put it in, we have something at CB we call three E's, I'm going to call it three P's this morning. Um, this morning, our co-patron, I'm sorry, and talked about young people. I talked about, you know, you know, spending time with people and young people in particular. There's a little saying, all right, and, and this is really for the students. It says, if you take the five people that you hang around the most, that is the sum of who you are. So I'll just leave that with you. That says, you know, think about who you spend your time with. You spend your time with people who are going to drag you down or people who are going to build you up. All right, the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. I can see you trying to put it around in your head. One, two, three. Hmm. <laughs> Ambassador, you know? <laughs> the second P, guys, is patience. Um, and I said it's more from the work world. We find that a lot of young students, as bright as you may be coming into the work world, you're so anxious to get to the top that you forget that there's a reason and there's a way in how to get to the top. So I know some of you are you know, in, the, in your second year and some of you are graduating um, and you'll get into the working world soon enough. But patience, take the time to learn, take the time to actually master your craft, as LeBron James always says, master that craft before you think you're at the top. And I think the third P for me is purpose. Um, Think about your career. Think about what you really want out of life. Um, think about what you're doing and why you do it every single day. If it's not something you're proud of, if it's not something that motivates you in the morning, then I'd really suggest to you maybe try to find something else. But think about your career in terms of not what you can do for yourself, what you can do for somebody else. So that's my little three words of wisdom. Thank you to, to, to Yui and everybody here we are so proud, CB, to be part of this. And um, Mr. Rain says, please don't leave. We have no intention of. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Lin. And thank you to the CB group for their support and partnership. Speaking of partnership, we are pleased to have the support of Running Events, whom, might I add, is the leading race management company in Jamaica. So. To give us details on the 2018 race, please help me welcome Managing Director of Running Events, Mr. Alfred Francis. Good morning, all. Good morning. Um, the Madam Master of Ceremonies and the Honorable Douglas Orain, Ambassador Richard Bernal, Miss 
fluffy diva. <laughs> Awesomeness, Miss Kitty, um, Professor Shepard, um, Miss Donna Chinla, I know she's present electronically, um, Sir Matthew Lynn, um, a special good morning. Another distinguished guest in the front row and wonderful students and all the guests. You know, it's, it's so good to be a part of a wonderful experience. The CB group UWI 5K and Smart Eggs Kids K, it's really not simply just a run. It's an opportunity. I was thinking about it a couple of days now. I said, this is, an, this is an opportunity. An opportunity to make Jamaica better, to strengthen oneself, to give, and all great things. I, I won't delve into that too much because of my responsibility, but I, I'll always bring a heart to the situation. No registration is now open, and one can register by going to Running Events JA, and you can use a debit or you can use a credit card, and you can complete a hard copy of an entry form, and you can uh, submit with payment, whether cash or check, to the sports department at the university. And kindly make the check payable to the University of the West Indies and not to run in events, which happens sometimes, right? Now, registration closes on Friday, November 2nd. And I must encourage the, the dorms, the halls here, they always get their entries in late. And I'm just going to throw out a challenge to them um, to make sure you're early this year with your entries, right? The registration fee is $1,200, and for teams of 50 or more, it's $1,000. And uh, we are in for donations too, so you can contribute an entry fee, or you can even contribute an entry fee to someone who would like to run and doesn't have the funds to run. Now, race package pickup will be on Thursday, November 8th, and uh, Friday, November 9th, at Running Events Jamaica, which is at 87 to 95 Tower Street, Kingston. And also on the 10th, right here at UWI, right? Your bib will be labeled with your name, and we're gonna ask you not to switch your bib because your bib is coded with your information therefore if you lend it to somebody it has their information and they will get the credit i must say some persons sometimes switch or lend a person their bib and it does give us some challenge so we do try to do a visual at the finish line because you know we have had ladies coming in very early and we don't see them and, you know, I remember making a call to a lady and she said she did not come to the event, but she loaned it to her friend who was a man. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you know, it gives us challenges with give, getting um, our results out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the course, you know, we started down at the bowl and we moved up to assembly hall. And I must say that has been received nicely the ambience is absolutely fabulous and we start on queen's drive and we our queen's way is it way right and we exit and turn left onto mona road and we run along the periphery of the university and then we enter from what we call shed lane and we come in and we go on to gibraltar camp road and we turn left onto Gibraltar Hall Road, and then we go around Ring Road. It's absolutely a beautiful course, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, for persons, who are, all you ambassadors, we are going to get your friends to come. Um, you know, this will be an introduction to the university and the landscape, because I think that university is one of the best kept green spaces in, in Kingston, or in Jamaica. And I want to applaud you all for that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage persons to come early. We start at 7, and we do start on the dot, right? But one of the challenges 
is that when 500 cars decide that they want to come at, five, uh, at um, 6.30, it creates, this, it creates gridlock. And uh, we will be closing the gates at 6.30, and I'm going to encourage persons, try to come at 5.30 and avoid the gridlock, right? Yeah, come at 5.30, head for 5.30. Now, ladies and gentlemen, parking and security is under the charge of a renowned Jamaican called Keith Gardner. He's the only man I have seen written a thesis on roadway security in the years that I have done road racing. And I have done hundreds. I, have, I, do not, I cannot count. And this man gave me a script that I have never seen anything like that in the history of racing. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, when I think about the UE 5K, it's very dear to me because, you know, Douglas Orrain was really the man who put me over the tipping point where um, doing this event. And when he opened his heart and told me the need, I had no choice but to say yes because I never used to do any race after a certain period because I have to prepare for a reggae marathon, which, you know, Miss Kitty did the reggae marathon. <laughs> So I was kind of taken back when you said you wouldn't run or you can only manage the announcing. But anyway, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but um, Doug and uh, Donnett and um, her deceased husband, I must thank you for initiating such a wonderful concept which has become a reality and has changed so many lives. You know, and, this op and that's why I term it as an opportunity. It continues to be an opportunity. And our ambassadors, the more persons we can get is the more scholarships that we can give. So you see the responsibility, and I know some of you want to give back. So you can give back now. Start giving back by, one, you're an exemplary student already. One, two, invite your friends and families and strangers to participate. I must thank CB for being the fuel for this event. You know, I, when Matthew speaks, I know he speaks from the heart. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I know he holds close to his chest is entrepreneurship. And, uh, you know, when you talk about lawyer, doctor, and Indian chief, we used to play that as kids. Mm -hmm. The fact is that we need to expand. But that was a post-colonial thought, and those were admired professions. So we won't need to widen the scope. And there's so much in Jamaica now because we are not a so-called developed country. Therefore, there are more opportunities here for us to tap into. And Liz, I must say, for being a driving force, for being the engineer in your team, Angela and company, to keep on pushing this. And don't negotiate with Liz, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from her. You understand? She's a great negotiator, as she, she, she alluded to when she spoke to Miss Kitty and said, Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty, I needed you, but I don't have any money. <laughs> so she has done so well for the university in raising funds to have persons access education and change their lives and change their families' lives and change their communities' lives. It's a great responsibility, um, ladies and gentlemen. We are... Um, you know, when, when, when we started this thing um, at running events, you know, our thing was just to promote a healthy lifestyle, which is invaluable because I tell you something about health. Health is valuable, ladies and gentlemen, and maintaining of a healthy lifestyle is critical because, you know, an illness can wipe out your whole family's wealth, you can mortgage your house, you can, and so many things you can do if you don't maintain a healthy lifestyle. And... Um, you can imagine for those who don't have a house to mortgage, you understand? I believe myself, you know, seriously, and I know that it's a costly um, experience. You know, I thank God that I can be standing here today and, um, you know, that I had good friends and family who never gave me an opportunity to even pay my bill. So, ladies and gentlemen, I must also speak to the cause of health maintaining a healthy lifestyle because non-communicable challenges are very serious in Jamaica. You know, one of the things I was doing when you all came up here, I was looking at all your bodies. <laughs> yeah, I was measuring your bodies and I was saying that some of you may have stopped doing the sport that you used to do. 
And I think I might be right because your body type doesn't look as if you're being very physical. But don't feel because you're young and energetic. You need much you don't join your belly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and ladies and gentlemen, you know, I must say something about Matthew. Matthew became a father since last year. And, you know, we want to congratulate him because it has, it, it meant, it meant, it has, you know, I know being a father, as being a grandfather myself, you know, it, 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 it brings so much beauty to your life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you now because I think I have done my job when it comes to the cars, registration, package pickup, race details, the route and parking um, are some of the things I, you know, I said I would speak to, but I, I'll always have to speak to youth when I see them being a father. And I think I have done a fairly good job when it comes to father. And I wish being a father, and I wish to communicate my experience as a father and wish the same for all children as I wish for my kids. So guys, you're blessed, truly blessed. Appreciate and radiate. Thank you. On behalf of the CB Group UE5K and Smart Eggs Kids K and my fellow scholarship recipients, I extend a very hearty vote of thanks to everyone for your proficiency and utmost generosity. A big thank you to all our speakers for your great encouraging words. We are all so inspired by your encouragement. I must also mention our deep sense of appreciation to our corporate sponsors, National Baking Company, Port Authority, Proven Investments, Alaska Jamaica, Visual Vibe Limited, iPrint Digital, Mayberry Investments, Rainforest Seafood, European Union, CVM, Island Grill, Jamaica Producers, Sunblock Awning and Tents, Power 106, the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel, the Gleaner Company, Dunlop Corbin, It's Pixel Perfect, News Talk 93 FM, Sun City Radio, Running Events, and RGR Gleaner Communications Group Limited. Thank you for your enormous cooperation in the organization of this event. To the committee, we applaud your willingness and involvement in taking the time out to complete this event. Thank you for your wonderful execution of a wonderful atmosphere of pure and sheer excellence. Once again, I would like to reiterate our sincerest gratitude and appreciation to all parties involved. We thank you for being here with us today. It's been our pleasure, and we are hoping to see everyone on race day on Sunday, November 11th. Before we go, I would like to welcome back Dr. The Honorable Douglas Arrain. Douglas, ahead. you have been an outstanding co-chair, both you and Donate. Um, and every year, you know, I call on you and whatever I ask of you, you always do willingly. And I felt that a scholarship should be named in your name, the Douglas Arrain Scholarship. Okay. And you can speak about, I spoke about your recipient this year, Alex, who is the renowned musician who has received the Douglas Arrain CB Scholarship this year. Don't go, don't go too far. Well, folks, um, the, I, I said earlier that I don't normally when I give or participate um, make a lot of noise about it. But this one is important to me, and I'll tell you the reason why. We need to develop a culture in Jamaica where we individuals give, those of us who are blessed um, to be able to give, and not depend only on corporations or institutions or charity, charitable foundations to do so. So the one of the things that I do is to give personally. So I called um, this lady over the weekend, and I said, Remind me again how much is it time to give <laughs> each year because I give you every year he has given since every year. every year since the beginning I've given personally um, enough to cover one student and so she reminded me how much so I draw a check <laughs> last night and here it is and I'm protecting the environment so I don't even have an envelope for it <laughs> which, mean, which means um, you know save a tree so here's a check to the University of the West Indies from me for three hundred thousand dollars. Uh, so I just want to say I am encouraging every individual to give. Now remember that when you give, it doesn't have to be the same amount. 
if it's only a thousand dollars, give a thousand dollars. Give it now. In fact, we have people standing by waiting for you to give before you leave the room. <laughs> you know, one of the things I've learned is to be a salesman about everything, including charity. But here's what I want to say to you. When we give, it's not only the recipient who benefits, it's us to give up because we feel good that we are making a difference in the world that we live in. And I want to encourage you to join in the joy that I feel when I give by you giving also. I thank you. <laughs>